Purdue and Minnesota. I think Minnesota has surprised a lot of people here, uh, me included. Didn't think they'd be this good, but you also have to ask yourself exactly who have they played, and that leaves something to be desired. I think this spread is inflated for from what we've seen from Minnesota earlier this year. They played one of the easiest non-cons I've seen all year, and then they played a Michigan State team who's completely inept. They only generated three pressures against Michigan State. Three pressures, three quarterback pressures. That is a horrific pass rush rate. What is a healthy Purdue going to do to you? They're playing this up-tempo air raid scheme, and O'Connell's phenomenal when he's on the field. And I mean, there's still other questions with Minnesota. What does this team look like in competitive games? Can Tanner Morgan play from behind without Chris Ottman Bell? Because last year they couldn't. I don't know the answer to any of these questions. So I'm going to take the points with Purdue here. I took this at a worse line. I would take it down to 10. It's not going to move that way. So I, I think this is honestly one you could wait on and get a, a better number.